Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today I'm going to teach you how to install your addictive drums into your MacBook with an M1 chip, uh, Monterey iOS, and then use it as a plugin for your Ableton Live. So for my system, I'm using a um, Ableton Live 10 and a Monterey iOS. So if you would like to see a demo of how to use um, the addictive drums you can see it in the link below in the description and then you can see how it is used and then uh, you would see how realistic the sound um, the uh, addictive drums is producing so if you would go to excellentaudio.com um, you would see the different um, products that they have so they have um, addictive drums wait let's just go to addictive drums first let me go back so you have um, you can uh, filter what you need so for me I purchased the uh, basic bundle that would include the Fairfax volume 1, 2 and black velvet so if you want to add some more um, packs then you can purchase it for $79 for each pack okay um, yeah I don't think they have the bundle already here but for me I purchased it for 169 US dollars and then you can further again add new packs for $79 each and then once you have purchased um, you need to install your um, addictive drums so let's go first to the system requirements so for addictive drums it's working for MacBook and Windows so you can see here that it's working uh, either using an Intel or an M1 chip and then it's using a Mac OS 10.10 .10 or higher using the 64-bit and for Windows it's working for 7, 8, 10, 11 Windows at 64-bit and of course you need an um, internet connection during installation this um, software is or this plugin can work for Ableton Live, Logic Pro, Pro Tools, Propellerhead, Reaper, Steinberg Cubase, and FL Studio. Yeah. So in order to, um, sorry, once you have purchased the software, of course you need to install. So there's an installation guide here in this website. So there is an option for you if you have a Windows or Mac OS but I want to highlight the most important thing is you need to have an online installer because uh, once you have purchased the plugin you will not receive a product key for you to register the product key will go together with your online installer so it will be um, um, linked to your account so your account you have to put in your email you have to put in your name surname then you have to create a password and such then once you have that you have to download the online installer and then once it's downloaded in your macbook you have to uh, input your username and password on the online installer it's a different uh, account that would link to your excellent audio account so you have to create that again and then you would open the uh, online installer which I will show you so again if you buy the product directly from our from the website you will not receive a product key but your product key or your product will be unlocked in your account automatically using the online installer which I would show you but if for example um, addictive keys which is also coming from excellent audio I purchased my Scarlett Focusrite audio interface 
It comes with a free uh, um, grand piano for addictive keys. So for that, then you have to register your product key. Okay, if we go to your, uh, hold on. So if we go, uh, once you have downloaded your online installer, then you have to open. Then there will be a pin number for you to enter. The pin number will be the same pin, uh, which you can use um, to log into your MacBook, or you can create a new pin just for the online installer. So once you have entered that, you will go here and then again, you have to enter your login credentials. I will not show you this, so, so now you are in the online installer. So if you have registered for an all excellent audio account, automatically you will have these things which you could use as a trial version so you will see that you can add now if you click this it will be downloaded and it will be a trial version for you um, i'm not sure how long you can use this for a trial and then you can download also you can download already your addictive drums and you will see that um, you will have an um, download button here and then you can download it into your PC and then it's already registered yeah so if you have if you're going to download the um, studio grant which I got free from Focusrite then you can register the product here here as well and then once you have downloaded then we have to enter it into your uh, Ableton so once you're downloading these things you just follow the uh, the uh, the steps of the downloading sequence then automatically it will be placed in the correct location or in the correct folder in your uh, Mac build. so once you have downloaded that you have to go to your preferences and then you would see here plugins you just have to rescan and then automatically it will be captured where your plugin is okay so I think this is the uh, default uh, plugin location for MacBook so I didn't touch it so once you have um, scan that then you would see your plugins here automatically so there you will see your addictive drums so again if you're going to use this you need to insert a MIDI track and then drag this thing on your MIDI track So once you have dragged it in, if you want to see the uh, the plugin window, you just have to click this spanner button. Then you would see, for myself, I purchased the basic pack, which would contain the Fairfax Volume 1, Volume 2, and Black Velvet. Yeah, so... I think that's it about uh, that's it for the installation of this uh, soft of this plugin and then on the next video I will try to demonstrate how this addictive drums is used so again if you find this video useful please click like and then if you would like to see more of my future future videos please click subscribe so thank you again for watching my video have a good day. Bye.